Hey everybody, welcome to Brewer Tech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about visual scripting and Unity buying Bolt. All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more subscribers we get, the more content we can make. It wouldn't mean a lot to you, but it would mean the world to me if this video got a thousand likes. So please like this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. All right, so let's talk about visual scripting. Now, if you've been an Unreal user for many years, you know that they've had some form of blueprints. Now, I've been using Unreal for such a long time, I actually started using the visual scripting of Kismet way back in the day. Now, blueprints are really awesome because not only do you get to make your game work, but they make the coding part of it a lot easier. And some people are visual learners. So even if you had coding and visual scripting, some people might choose visual scripting just because they like it a lot better. Remember that programming is very abstract and that can confuse a lot of beginners. Now over the years, blueprints have become a lot more cost effective. And what that means is that it used to be if you were to write your code in C++, or do your code in blueprints, the C++ code would run faster. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this is still the case today, but it is very negligible compared to what it used to be. But we're not talking about Unreal, we're talking about Unity. Now, Unity has not had a visual scripting component. In fact, they did announce that they were going to add a visual scripting component in one of their keynotes, but so far that hasn't come out yet. But what Unity does have is the asset store. And the asset store is really important because not only can you buy assets for your games like models or animations or sounds, but you can actually buy scripts. And one of the more popular scripts that you can buy on the Unity asset store was Bolt. Now Bolt is a visual scripting language that is meant for the Unity engine. Now this is really important because there hasn't been a good visual scripting option for Unity other than Bolt. Now there have been a few others and I've used those others over the years such as Playmaker, but Bolt is really good and Bolt does a really good job at visual scripting. So what I think Unity said is, well, we need to add in a visual scripting because a lot of people go to Unreal because of their blueprints. Why don't we just buy out Bolt? Now Unity itself is a fairly big company and it has made several acquisitions over the years. Now one of those acquisitions is now Bolt. So what they've done is they basically bought Bolt and I just got the email in my inbox today as I'm recording this video. So there's probably a lot more details to come. So this is great news for Unity users because not only is Bolt a very awesome scripting language, it is going to get support from the Unity ecosystem. And whenever some item gets support from the entire ecosystem, that is a good thing. So are a lot of people going to migrate from Unreal to Unity or vice versa because of this? Well, we'll have to see because we don't necessarily know yet. Just because Bolt was acquired today doesn't mean that everyone is going to magically switch from Unreal. Now, Bolt has to be really fast. And this is the one thing I always say about any kind of coding language or environment. It has to be quick. For me, when I choose an engine, I wanna make my game and get it out to my players as quickly as possible. Now, both Unity and Unreal are incredibly good. I did a whole video about that, which you can check right here. And by the way, if you haven't liked this video, please do. And like the other video too. So the major difference is that Unreal almost has a decade of experience in visual scripting, while Unity does not necessarily have that. Having said that, they're probably going to put a lot of resources into making Bolt awesome. And by the way, side note, Bolt is an amazing name for a visual scripting language. Because one of the things that you need to understand when you're developing a game or an app or pretty much anything is that you wanna get your project out there to your customers as quickly as possible with the least amount of frustration as possible. Because it's no good sitting on your hard drive. After being an industrious person, I have so many projects sitting on my hard drive and I highly recommend that you don't do that. 
publish what you need to do in some way, shape, or form. And even if you do have projects that are on your hard drive, maybe start a blog and just post them so that they're on the internet. Uploading to a blog or a private blog is a great way of looking at your progress. In fact, I have done this for years and I looked at one of my private blogs and I read some of the articles and they were actually fairly good. So what does this mean for the two titans in the game engine industry? That is Unreal and Unity. Well, it means that the game has gotten a lot more interesting now that Unity has acquired both. Now, Blueprints, while they are absolutely amazing, Unity now has a strong competitor. By the way, if you haven't checked out this video where I suggest Unreal should buy Construct 3, I highly recommend that you go check it out. It is something that Unreal could probably get the leg up on Unity if they so chose. And by the way, like that video too, and this one while you're at it. Now in this industry of game engines, the competition is fierce, and I expect the quality of these game engines to go up, which means the games will get better over time. Now, the only question that I have is, will the game engines get easier to use? Because when I use Unreal or Unity, there are still some parts that are a little bit more complicated and I know what I'm doing. And sometimes things are way more complicated than they need to be. So one of the things I highly recommend that Unity and Unreal do, if anyone from those companies is watching, is to make the engine very easy to use. All right, so that concludes this video. Let me know what you think about Unity, Bolt, or Unreal, and Blueprints. I wanna know. Please write them down in the comments. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and said we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the products that you buy below, the more content we can make. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. You, we have content that has everything from Unreal tutorials to Unity tutorials to Blender tutorials to machine learning tutorials and more. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Not only do you make this YouTube channel possible, you make Mammoth Interactive possible. Our goal is to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers on Mammoth Interactive, and we need your help to get there. We have monthly and yearly options. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. It really does help us out in the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in another video.